I'm Doug Massey, and today I'm going to show you which leads are the very best for selling final expense over the phone. It's different than face to face. And we'll even rank them from like the least intent to the highest intent for purchasing insurance, you know, that interest level. And also, I'm going to suggest what leads to absolutely avoid and why. Guys, you, you might be surprised when I tell you. And then finally, towards the end of the video, I'm going to share how you can get up to 12 preset appointments every single day. And these are of people who have uh, what I want to say a maximum intent, a maximum interest and are absolutely, you know, wanting a quote and wanting to buy final expense life insurance. And guys, if you would like a copy and you need a, a copy of a, of a decent final expense telesales presentation, along with the thank you note that we send to everybody we sell. And this thank you note is perfect for you telesales agent. That way you can actually, when you close your sale, you send the client something the next day. Just stick around until the end of this video and I'll show you how to get both of these for yourself. As an independent insurance agent, the very best, number one, most awesome lead that you will ever see is the live inbound television lead. Now, with TV leads, the prospect watches a TV commercial about the importance of final expense life insurance and how by not having it, you're leaving a, a big burden on your loved ones. You've seen these commercials before, guys. They're really, really good. And then what happens is the person watching the commercial, the prospect, calls into the 800 number and the live insurance agent, which if you're getting those, would be you, actually answers the phone. And guys, this is when I'd love to invite you to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you're new. We're putting out new content just like this every single week. Think about it. The prospect sees the TV commercial, calls in for a quote, and you, the agent, answers the phone. Sweet. Unfortunately, there's only one little problem with this type of high intent lead. They just aren't available to the public. They're not available to independent insurance agents anymore. You know, agents like you and me, they haven't been all due to, partially due, I should say, to the health crisis. Um, all the big corporations, they started bidding with against all the other companies and competing for these type of leads, which the first thing that started happening was the price just went sky high, over $100 each. And, and now, since the only people who can really afford this type of high cost, high intent, you know, high intent lead are the big companies. Uh, and so I guess the bottom line, guys, it's just not viable for us. Hold on, guys. I know what you're thinking. I know what you're thinking. With all that being said, there are two companies, both Lincoln Heritage and Senior Life, uh, the Senior Life Insurance Company that's in Alpharetta, Georgia, I think they're based out of, they both do generate their own TV leads. However, it's not the same as what I just described. The Lincoln Heritage lead is generally sold to their face-to-face -face agents in addition to their direct mail leads. Remember, Lincoln Heritage is mainly a face-to-face -face sales company. Um, and so what that means is, they do not have a system set up for telesales agents to like log in and have access to the live inbound TV leads. In other words, by the time the agent actually gets that television commercial lead, and, it, and it's that's just what it is, it's a lead, it's not a live where you're speaking with somebody, it's probably at least, if you get it the same day, great. Most likely though, it's gonna be like a day or three later, which is not the same as a live inbound TV lead. On the other hand, Senior Life Insurance Company, you know, the one in Georgia again, does have a system set up where their telesales agents can actually log in and access the TV leads. So in my opinion, Senior Life is actually a primary telesales company uh, as to where like Lincoln Heritage is a face-to-face -face company, but you can sell both either way. Once again, the caller, the person who sees the TV commercial, what they do is they call in and they're not directly connected with the agent though. In other words, so what happens, let me describe this. They see the commercial, they call in, they speak with a senior life call center person, and that person like takes down all their personal information and then inputs it into the system for the telesales agents to actually fight over. And the way it works is, uh, I'm pretty sure like the first agent that clicks on the lead in the system gets that lead. So 
you know, again, it's not going right to the agent, you know, where the client says hello and the agent answers the phone. It's, it's like, uh, you know, they're fighting for them. The whole idea of the prospect calling in about the TV commercial and then not being able to speak directly to the, the, the sales per person, you know, the professional, the, the insurance agent, until like the agent calls them back. In my opinion, this does lower that intent. This, this does take away from the value of that TV lead. However, let me just be clear, and this is my opinion, I don't believe it really changes that lead as a high intent lead. You know, it's still a high quality lead. It's just, I feel like it loses a little bit when the agent can't actually answer the phone. I mean, think about it. If the agent gets the lead and for whatever reason doesn't call back for 10 or 15 minutes, and that can happen and does happen, maybe even five minutes later can make a big difference. The, the prospect may not even answer the phone. My second favorite lead for selling final expense over the phone is the pre-booked appointment Facebook lead. This is the one that most of the highest producing agents in the country, including our agents, are using. And I'm going to share exactly how you can get, I mentioned this earlier, like 10 to 12 of these pre-booked appointments every single day. But again, we're not getting into that right now. We will circle back to that. Uh, I'll go over it in just a few minutes. Hang in there, guys. My third favorite lead for selling final expense over the phone is the self-generated Facebook lead. Now, here's the thing about the Facebook leads. If you buy them, I promise that the quality is not going to be even close to what you will get if you learn how to generate your own leads, you know, on your own through your own Facebook ads. Guys, in, in my opinion, honestly, the only reason that you should even try to generate your own leads on Facebook is, and, and this is to me a must have, is one, if you're already a super talented internet marketer, you know, so you're really good with the computer and with doing the ads, or two, if you buy a program from somebody who can guarantee, and to me that's the key word, guarantee that you will have success with your ads and that they know your specialty. In other words, they can guarantee that doing the type of ads that we do, selling final expense insurance, the one that they're gonna teach you how to set up is exactly that. So like I've got people that teach our agents, you know, people that work with me, how to run their own ads for like just a few hundred bucks. I think it's like four or five hundred dollars, which really works great if you're serious about learning how to generate your own leads on Facebook. Now, to me, this is a great place to start, but it's still not nearly as good as having the preset appointments that I mentioned earlier, which again, we're gonna get to shortly. When you generate your own Facebook leads, you're gonna get the lead on a spreadsheet, right? Then what you do is you simply upload the data from the spreadsheet right into your CRM slash dialer and voila. You simply turn on the dialer and now you're ringing out the leads over and over and over until they pick up the phone. And here's your pro tip of the day, guys. When dialing through your leads, just make sure that each lead is called at least two to three times each before you know the dialer moves on to the next lead. We call this double tapping and triple tapping. Just think about it. If your phone rings, and I should say when your phone rings, and you don't recognize the number, I mean, do you pick it up? Most people actually don't, especially since you know the, the health thing came to town and the phone started going crazy. And, and, and then when it rings again immediately, you're gonna be more tempted to pick it up. You're like, oh, they're calling a second time. And then if it rings a third time, and again, you know, we're talking like three times in a row, ring, 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 hang up, ring, 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 hang up, ring, 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 hang up. The third time you might think, hmm, what's going on? Is this an emergency? Maybe this is somebody I know and love. And that's when you'll be tempted to pick up the phone, right? No problem, guys, you're welcome. My next favorite lead for telesales is the live transfer lead. However, there are like, three issues with this type of lead that I'm gonna, I need to address. This, this, this has to be talked about, and this is important, guys. Issue number one, if you find a company that can promise these leads to you, there's only two ways that you're really gonna be able to get them, and here's how it works. So the, the first way is that the one transfer will come in, and then potentially minutes or even seconds later, and this is what happens, another can come in, and, and then another, and then another, all on top of each other. So, and, and that's unfortunately how they could come in, which it's not gonna work for you, for an independent, right? Or, 
It's the other way around, which is probably worse. You'll order some live transfer leads. You'll wait around for a few hours. You'll get a transfer. You'll wait for a few more hours. Maybe you'll get another transfer. And at the end of the day, you've hung around like eight or nine hours and maybe you've gotten one or three transfers. That's just not cool. I mean, that's not working for me. But there's no real system that these telemarketing companies can use to, to like get them to where you'll get one guaranteed every 30 or 45 minutes. They just, they just can't do that. The other issue with live transfers is that, and this is my opinion guys, all a live transfer really is, well, is an expensive telemarketed lead. It's just a little different. So let me, let me kind of describe how they're generated. A call center representative cold calls the prospect, they answer the phone, and then the, the call center rep says something like, hi, this is Jared from Senior Benefits. And in most cases, it's an offshore guy who's you know from Pakistan or something, trying to, trying to sound like an American, faking a little accent. Uh, we wanted to tell you about a low cost state regulated program designed to pay for your final expenses. And ma'am, this life insurance can pay your family up to $35,000 when you pass away. Now, this is important, ma'am. We have a licensed agent that can speak with you right now about how this program works. Can I connect you with him or her? If the prospect says, yeah, sure, why not? Then, you know, then the connection is made. Boom, it's connected to you, the live agent. And that's how it works. To me, the only difference between a cheap telemarketed lead and a live transfer is that instead of the call center representative asking the potential client, I I if, is it okay if I connect you with the live agent now? What they say is, uh, is it okay if I have a agent call you back that can go over these plans with you? You know, that's it. They ask, you know, the client if it's okay to connect them with the live agent later. That's it. The idea to me of cold calling people and asking them if it's okay for us to try to talk them basically into buying life insurance. Well, to me, the intent is low. So the quality isn't going to be very good. Now, do they work? Sure. But can you get better leads than this? Of course. We're getting to that in a minute. And the third issue that I have with this type of lead, you know, the, the live transferred lead is, and this is the scary part, so pay attention guys, a majority of the offshore call centers are generating illegal and non-TCP compliant leads and transfers. Even though they all, I, this makes me crazy, they all swear up and down that they're scrubbed against the do not call list and are absolutely compliant. Remember guys, they're not in the United States. They're not liable for any repercussions and they do not have to fear any type of lawsuits like you do, like you, the insurance agent does. I don't know if you know this or not, I've already experienced it with a couple of agents. There are attorneys who have honey traps set up in their state and when these illegal calls come in, they will take the call, they'll maybe take the appointment if it's just a lead, they'll speak with the insurance agent and then they will buy the insurance. And then guess what happens? They sue you, they sue your upline, your manager, the insurance company gets sued all for thousands and thousands of dollars. And after that's all said and done, you will most likely get sued again by your upline, you know, because they didn't approve this type of lead for you to use, and possibly the insurance company too. Think about it. These companies are not the ones who decided to trust the offshore call center and work with their illegal cheap leads. You are. That makes you the liable one. Behind the call transfers is the telemarketer lead. And in all honesty, guys, I kind of just described a lot of that to you. I wouldn't bother using a telemarketed lead if you can use any of the others for sure. They're really hard to get back on the phone and they're really, they're just not that good. Honestly, you know, I described the intent. You know, think about it. You, they're being cold called by people. So the intent is very, very low. To me, they kind of stink. Any type of robot lead is completely illegal, so forget about that. Don't even consider them. They used to be pretty good, but you know, for the cost. But again, like as of today, 
the last thing you want to do is mess with those things. They're totally illegal. So let's talk about the lead where the prospect sees an ad on Facebook. They click on the link. It takes them to a landing page. They have to answer a bunch of questions. They have to fill out their information. And then they pick a day and time to speak with you about buying final expense life insurance. All clear, all bold print. It says like that it's that they're buying life insurance like five times on the landing page if that's what you want. The good news is that once you've invested into a program, you know, like this, you're investing into to something I just described you'll be running your own ads and will be 100% in control of what the prospect sees and when you want to book the appointments up on the calendar, you know, what openings you have. That way you're working your schedule. So think about it. If they're setting up an appointment to speak with you about buying life insurance, the intent must be pretty good, right? Question, if you have someone that sets up your ads for you and shows you how to do it, and then is totally available for you when you need help, you know, because we all need help when we're learning something new and, you know, they'll help you make changes. How much would you pay? I mean, for a setup like this, what's it worth to you? It's going to give you like 10, 12 appointments per day, remember, where you're easily going to be in the position to where you can, if you got the work ethic, make literally hundreds of thousand dollars per year. I mean, kind of ridiculous, right? Well, I don't sell it. So look, here's the thing. We do have someone that takes care of this for us, you know, for our agents. And it does cost, you know, around $2,000. He does all the handholding. He manages everything in the beginning and assists you while transitioning, you know, into controlling your own funnels and leads and preset appointments. To me, this is the ultimate game changer for final expense telesales. And sadly, since a lot of agents just don't know better, well, they tend to be afraid to invest into a process like this. And the crazy part is that it sounds like a big investment if you're not used to selling. But with this system, in the first week or two, you should be able to not only make your money back, but make a profit and be like on your way to making the big bucks. If I were a new agent who was interested in selling final expense insurance over the phone and I had the information, how do I say this, and knew what I know now, you know, what I uh, what I've learned from years of experience, I would definitely spend what it takes to learn the process of generating my own high intent leads and appointments through Facebook ads. No doubt about it. For a copy of the telesales presentation and the thank you note that I mentioned earlier in the video, just email me at doug at ufesonline.com. For more information on selling final expense and or Medicare Advantage, whether you're doing it face to face or you want to do it over the phone, you know, the idea is specializing in the senior market as a completely independent insurance agent, just shoot me an email at that same address. Remember guys, when you put the needs of your clients first, everything else will usually fall right into place. Now get out there or get on that phone and do something good for someone today. Happy hunting.